Hey, this is Mike Hobbs, and today is going to be a little bit more of a technical video marketing tip, but I, I know you're going to get a lot of value. Now, why am I going to do a technical tip real quick? Well, the other day I had some issues uh, trying to figure out how to get my video file off of my iPhone onto my Mac computer, and, and I was kind of like, how do you get this file over here so I could put it into my screen flow? and edit the video. That's all I wanted to do was edit the video and put it up on my Facebook page and, and convert it and things like that. And I couldn't figure out how to get the video files off my phone. So I've been actually, you know, not doing a lot of videos from my phone because I haven't been able to figure this out. Well, I finally sat down and figured it out and sure enough, it was very, very simple. So I wanna show you how to do that today and give you some marketing tips that have to do with the iPhone at the end of this video as well. So here's the thing, if you're having issues getting video files off your phone, this is how dang simple this is. First of all, you just have to connect it to your computer. So through your USB cable, so you just connect it. So there you go, you connect your video, your iPhone to your computer, then you go down to your finder area right here, pull this up, and this is for Macs, by the way. Uh, then you click on applications, and there's an application that's called, check this out, image capture. Open that up, and check this out. You just choose your iPhone, there's your file, you click it, and you just click import. You can import it to different folders, whatever you wanna do, that's all you gotta do. You just click import, and it'll just import it in, and then from there, you can literally just open up your screen flow like this, click uh, insert, and then just insert the file you imported, uh, just like so. So this is a video I, I took from my, from my iPhone as you can see, and then I could just, you know, obviously, see how clear that is, I had on a blurry spot. But there you go, so now I can have these, uh, there you go, just fill in the black box. I can have my iPhone video right here inside of my, my uh, screen flow, and I can just do the editing options and put call outs, text, and all these things right here edit the video and it converts it automatically and then upload it to the internet. Now there is some features you can use on your iPhone to upload directly to the internet. But I'm going to tell you right now it's it's not as effective because first of all the files are usually really big when you're recording with your iPhone and you know you're trying to upload to the internet from your phone and if it, it blacks out, your screen blacks out, then you lose the upload. I've actually lost a couple YouTube videos on the upload, failed, because it goes to the black screen, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, so there's a couple reasons why you wanna do it this way. You can edit it on your computer versus having it on your phone. But for all means, I mean, if you wanna just upload it straight to your phone, the Facebook app doesn't work very well either, uh, uploading it straight to Facebook from your phone. So I highly recommend it doing it this way, and now that I know how easy it is, just using that little image capture application. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on my iPhone. And one of the things I recommend, so I'm gonna pull this off. One of the things I recommend is you actually get yourself an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone yet, uh, get yourself an iPhone. Uh, you could actually write it off for business expenses. Like if you use this mostly for business, in fact, if you get on a lot of conference calls and a lot of things like that, I get on more conference calls for business and 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 I use this phone more for business than I do any day of the week as far as talking to my, you know, personal life. So you can write off a certain percentage of your phone bill from your iPhone costs and things like that. You have to get with your tax professional, but this investment can save you a lot on taxes. It's actually pretty cool. It gives you an excuse to buy a cool iPhone. Uh, and, and have that expense if, if you're having that issue, you know, trying to convince your spouse or whatever. It's a great tax write-off. It's a great thing you can use for your business and, and going forward, okay? So, highly recommend it. It has a great camera, the True Tone camera. You can put it in your pocket. You don't have to lug around a big, huge camera everywhere you go. Uh, and here's the coolest feature about recording from your iPhone that I didn't know. Uh, normally, when you're when you're recording, let me go to my 
uh, camera here and we'll see if I could show you. Normally you have to click on that little photo button to start the recording of your of your video but check this out. You can actually start it with these little volume buttons right here on the side too. So if you're out there and, and you want to record a video of yourself you can just click the little button you see it starts it and then it stops it. So very very cool I didn't know about that feature either I just learned it so if you want to record yourself obviously it's better if someone else records you but I've done videos recording myself uh, very very cool so I recommend the iPhone and that's how you actually take it off of your iPhone onto your computer putting it in ScreenFlow or Handbrake or whatever conversion software you're using and get out there and make it happen this is my favorite video tool now uh, because I know that I could take it off and do it on the fly so I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos with my iPhone from here on out so with that said if you got some value uh, go ahead and comment and share this video with other people if you feel that they will get value from it as well make it a great day see you in the next video